All right, what's good family? Welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to be covering the three calisthenic exercises that I think are the best exercises for building superhuman strength. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Make sure you subscribe because I'm dropping a lot of heat and like the video if you're returning or if you're new because that way it'll push it out to more people. All right, let's get right into this. Let's get straight to it. The first calisthenic exercise that I have on this list of three that'll help you obtain superhuman strength is the stomach to wall handstand press. Now before I get into like how to perform this exercise and even progressions to get to this exercise because it can be pretty difficult to actually learn, um, let me first like let you know why I even put it on this list of the three. Now the main reason I put it on this list for obtaining superhuman strength and calisthenics is because the reason it transfers to the main calisthenic skill, the handstand. But not only will it help you obtain the handstand, it'll help with the handstand press, all right? Free handstand press, help with 90 degree handstand push up, even the L sit to handstand. So every single skill I said there had to do with the handstand. And the cool thing about the stomach to wall handstand press is that you can really focus on your form, you can focus on your body alignment, you can practice the handstand push ups all with an assisted wall by focusing over time on your form and how your body is positioned. That'll help translate and transfer to the actual ground when you don't have anything supporting you. That conditioning and strength you're doing on the wall has a huge carryover into just a free handstand in general, if, if even if that's your goal. Now let's look at how to actually perform the stomach to wall handstand press. What you're gonna be doing is finding a wall and getting in a push-up position where your feet are facing towards the wall. You can even add your feet touching the wall to start. Now what you're gonna do is take your right hand and walk it toward the wall as your left foot comes up the wall. And then you're just gonna alternate. So then your left hand comes in, your right foot comes up, you're alternating your body as you're walking your, your stomach to the wall. The objective here is to get your face, your stomach, your whole body, your anterior chain here in the front, as close as you can to that wall and really press against that wall. Keep your feet as straight and point your toes, engage your core, engage your glutes, make sure you're regulating your breath and the main thing here too, I noticed that not a lot of people incorporate with this exercise, is you're depressing your shoulders. You're pushing your shoulders away from the ground. Think of that, like you're pushing your shoulders away from the ground in this position, and you're really just focusing on feeling how your body is connected to the wall, connected to your surroundings. And this, again, is a great way to help build that strength over time. And while you're in this position, you can then perform the handstand press. So you can even do two things. You could first hold your body there if you want to, even if you're not building up to the, the power of being able to do a push up. but then you can then come right, angle your head right to the ground and perform a handstand push up. Now, like I said before, the stomach to wall handstand press is a pretty difficult exercise to learn for many, even if you're like walking your body up, doing a press, walking it back out, and you're just conditioning your body, it can be pretty tough. So here are some progressions that can help you get to that point. There are two progressions I wanna go over. The first one is the pike push up. It's a very, very basic calisthenic exercise. This will even help you build that basic strength if you wanna learn handstand push ups or be able to hold a handstand in general. What you can do if you become comfortable with the form and the amount of reps that you do with a, hand, uh, a pike push-up, you can then transfer to an elevated pike push-up. And I think from this point of the elevated pike push-up, I would really start, when you feel comfortable with the elevated pike push-up, I would then transfer to the stomach to wall, even a hold if you can at that point, and then the press. The second calisthenic exercise that's gonna help you obtain that superhuman strength is going to be the banded explosive pull-up. Now what we're working here, we are working our back. We're working our arms, our forearms, our grip with the use of a resistance band and these explosive pull-ups. Now you can see the three exercises out of these list of three, we already covered the handstand press, shoulders and back. Now we're focusing on something that's more pull. We had a pushing exercise and a pulling. I think this is so important as we're covering these main three, these list of three. So the explosive banded pull-ups. Why would this help me achieve superhuman strength? You're probably wondering, you might be wondering. Two exercises or skills that I feel that this transfers to is number one, the most important is muscle ups. Being able to have a band and then incorporate a band, like wrapping that band around the bar and slinging your body up just as you're doing a pull up. You could even practice, I mean, muscle ups with this band, but the use of the band is so powerful. And then you have front levers. I think the fact that you're working on your grip and you're working on pulling is gonna help you as well as pulling to that perpendicular position 
or parallel perpendicular, I'm not good with that, uh, <laughs> for the front lever. To set up this exercise, all you're gonna do is grab a resistance band. The heavier the resistance band, the easier the exercise will be to learn and practice. But what I have here is just a medium and light resistance band. I'm gonna put it around the bar, wrap it through, and this is kinda how you wrap it through. I'll show you and demonstrate. And then I'm gonna put this around my foot and perform like I'm performing a push-up, a pull-up, not a push-up, a pull-up, but I'm pulling my hips to the bar is my objective or even my chest to the bar, whatever. You're, you're trying to surpass that chin to bar aspect, but you're like, since you have the use of the band, you're gonna slingshot your body up a lot higher than you usually would. So that's your main objective, is to do an explosive pull up on the way up, exploding to your chest, to your hips, and then coming on the way back down. And last but not least, the third exercise I really wanted to throw in here that's gonna help you obtain that superhuman strength is going to be the hanging L-sit. This one I feel is so underrated and it's so important. I mean, let's look at what you're training here. When you're looking at the hanging out so you're on a bar, you're training your grip, it's a static exercise. You're not moving, you're training your grip, you're training your hip flexors. I mean, you're training your back even, you have to like hold in this position, your core, your abdominal region, you're training so much just within this certain position and the fact that your legs are out straight. now. What could this help me transfer to, transfer to? So many basic skills. Learn especially, I, I personally think that this transfers to the most calisthenic skills to learn, just because how your body is set up. But one of the most important skills that will help you transfer to is the L-sit. Because the fact that you're working on your hip flexors and keeping your hip flexors in a static position is something that is so important to learn in the actual L-sit. Another skill that this exercise will help you transfer to is the L-sit to handstand. Everyone loves to learn the L-sit to handstand. And even if you have parallettes or don't have parallettes, this skill alone will help you position your body. And again, like I said, work on that L-sit because you first need to learn the L-sit and then carry your body over and under under into the handstand. So let's look at two things, how to set up into this position and then kind of progressions to help you get to this point if you can't do it already. So setting up in this position, I'm grabbing onto the bar and more of a wide grip, an overhand grip. And what I'm doing is I'm just raising my legs up into an L, making sure to point my toes straight and keeping my core engaged. And I'm just regulating my breathing as I'm doing this throughout. Now this exercise might be difficult for many. Uh, it's tough sometimes to keep your legs straight and really make an L shape with your body. So what you can do is first come to your knees or even just cancel that. First learn how to hang from a bar. If you can't hang from a bar yet, I highly recommend you just dead hang. You just hang from the bar, all right? That's all you do first. Over time, once you build that strength for at least 20, 25, 30 seconds hanging on a bar, you then can raise up your knees. So bringing your knees at kind of like an L level, but you're keeping them up at your hips. So you're building that strength. And then over time, once you build that 15, 20 seconds of hold there, then you can bring the legs out to that L. And there you have it. Those are three exercises that I truly believe will help you obtain that superhuman strength for calisthenics. You had a pushing exercise, the handstand press, stomach to wall handstand press. You had a pulling exercise, the resistance band explosive pull-ups. And then you had a static exercise. All right, not moving your body at all is the hanging L-sit. If you enjoyed this video, show some love. Actually drop a comment below and let me know if there's another exercise, because there's so many calisthenic exercises that have personally helped you. Let me know below and I appreciate you all. Much love for the support. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.